Jacques Henry Callas will be remembered quite simply as one of the best all-rounders to ever play the game. A classical batsman, he was a colossus in the South African lineup for almost 19 years, making him a prized wicket for any bowler skillful enough to penetrate his defense. Oh, that's a great shot. That is a great shot. My goodness me, what style! With only Sachin Tendulkar and Ricky Ponting ahead of him in the all-time test match run charts at the time of his retirement, Callas's record with the bat often overshadows his tremendous ability with the ball. Combining both swing with an awkward bounce, he became the first player ever to achieve the feat of 10,000 runs and 200 wickets in both tests and one-day internationals. What a fantastic shot from Jacques Callas. Born in Cape Town in 1975, Callas began his cricketing journey at Weinberg Boys High School, a stone's throw away from the iconic Newlands Cricket Ground, home to the Western Province stateside where he would make his first-class debut. Callas had to wait over two years after his Test Match debut for his first international century. It came in a thrilling Boxing Day Test against Australia in 1997, which gave the world a glimpse of his tremendous grit and resolve against an Australian bowling attack at the peak of their powers. That's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful strike. In 2003 and 2004, Callas became one of only four players in the history of Test cricket to hit a century in five consecutive matches. This would secure his place in the ICC Test Team of the Year for 2004, an accolade he would go on to achieve a further five times in his career. Callas's immovable presence at the crease, batting alongside South African greats such as A.B. de Villiers, Graham Smith and Hashim Amla, helped his nation to become the number one ranked team in the ICC Test Rankings for the first time in 2009. He went on to help South Africa reach the summit of the rankings again in 2012. Callas's greatness, however, wasn't just reserved for test cricket, with his one-day international record speaking volumes about his ability to adapt to any situation. Good shot, very good shot from Jacques Callas straight down the ground for four. South Africa lifted the first ever ICC Champions Trophy in 1998, in part thanks to Callas's five-wicket haul in the final against the West Indies. Unfortunately for both Callas and South Africa, this would be his last taste of success at an ICC tournament, as years of heartbreak would follow. His personal records, though, yet again paint a wonderful picture of his dominance at the top level. With over 11,500 runs and 273 wickets in ODIs, he ranks amongst the greatest to have played the format. Oh yes, that's the big boundary, that's the big one. Jacques Collis's stature in international cricket is immense. Along with Sir Garfield Sobers, he is arguably one of the two greatest all-rounders to have ever played the game. Oh, he's bargain. What a great delivery! An unstoppable batsman, a marvellous bowler and an incredible fielder. Welcome to the ICC Cricket Hall of Fame, Jacques Collis.